himself. Uh, by sending the mountains away, he knew that I was going to be on his own, mm-hmm. and the disciples would go afar ahead of him. Mm-hmm. So he was alone in the mountain. Mm-hmm. Not the, the mountain was not the way, way the main thing about prayer, mm-hmm. but the separation unto a mountain. Mm-hmm. Because you understand, no one really lives in the mountain, mm-hmm. so it's a deserted area. Mm-hmm. So your mountain can be a room. Mm-hmm. Your mountain can be outside of the back of the house. Your mountain can be somewhere, a spot you just like going to, mm-hmm. where you're just alone, separating yourself from the world completely. Mm-hmm. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, or other versions, it is a ghost. And they carried out, and they cried out uh, for fear. But straight away Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. Full stop. And when 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 Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on this water and to go, and to go to Jesus. I want you to understand. I read from 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 twenty seven. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, this is a group of people, isn't it? They were troubled and saying, "It is a ghost or it is a spirit." They cried out for fear. So fear is for crowds. It's a group thing. You can be afraid all together. Like, hey, hey, hey. misery loves company. Mm-hmm. So does fear. Mm-hmm. So does the uh, lack and 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 uh, being deserted, mm-hmm. deserted and, and all that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, all of them cried, cried out for fear. But he straight away, Jesus spoke unto them, not to Peter. Mm-hmm. He spoke unto them, saying, "Be of good cheer. Mm-hmm. It is I. Be not afraid." Only one person. Rose up and said, and Peter answered him and said, Lord, if if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. Jesus didn't say, Ah, come, all of you. He said, The one who asked, Come. So Jesus is interested in those who take interest in him. So Jesus wants to give power to the person who's interested in Jesus. Who, who, who's listening to Jesus? Jesus says, uh, do be of good cheer. One, it is I. Mm. Be not afraid. Mm. He says it as a statement, mm. as a truth, as an established truth. Mm. He says, Whosoever shall receive him mm. shall receive life, isn't it? Mm. If you receive Jesus, you shall receive life. Mm. So if I have life and because I receive Jesus and you don't receive life, mm. and you don't receive Jesus, I have life and you don't have life. Mm. You not receiving Jesus, Jesus does not mean that, that Jesus does not exist. Mm-hmm. It's you who has rejected him. Mm-hmm. So, so when Jesus says, be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. Jesus is saying that I'm giving you an established fact and truth. Mm-hmm. Then Peter says, on that note, mm-hmm. and answered him, oh, and said, Lord, for thou hast cre- for thou hast kept the Israelites from the Egyptians. Mm-hmm. No. For thou uh, are the creator of heaven and earth. Mm-hmm. No. Thou art the great God. Mm-hmm. No. Uh, I praise and honor you. No. Mm-hmm. Jesus answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Mm-hmm. In other words, this is you building on what you just said. If it's, if it's truly you, mm-hmm. tell me to come to the water yeah. and I will come. Jesus said, uh, come. Peter, the only reason Peter left, got out of the boat is because Jesus said, come. Mm-hmm. So it means he was walking with the word, mm-hmm. come. So the reason he walked on water was because Jesus said, come. Mm-hmm. Why? Because he used the word, come. Mm-hmm. Same thing with, uh, with uh, Abraham. If you see, mm-hmm. if it's in the Old Testament, God says, uh, sacrifice your son unto me, isn't it? Mm-hmm. But you go in Hebrews and it says, Abraham, when he was told to sacrifice his child, he knew that the nations were supposed to be born from Isaac. Mm. So he knew that if 
he kills Isaac. God was re- resurrect him. Mm. So with that mindset, he took his son for sacrifice. Mm. So Abraham did not ask God, what are you talking about? What am I going to do? Mm. But, uh, oh God, you said, what, 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 is there a conundrum? Mm. I, uh, Abraham kind of figured out. <laughs> and after that, he's called a man of faith. So faith is when you use what you're given without question, without objections, and without struggle. So this is an interesting principle of prayer I found out uh, a few weeks ago. So Jesus says, it is I. He says, uh, I shall never leave you nor forsake you, so that you may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. You understand? So that you may boldly say, so when Jesus says, I shall never leave you nor forsake you, your duty in prayer is not to say, I shall never leave you nor forsake you. It means you, you must be saying that to someone else. Because it doesn't make sense, isn't it? Yeah. If I say, uh, don't worry, I'll give you money. Mm. Then you turn back to me and say, don't worry, I'll give you money. <laughs> yeah. What kind of conversation is this? Yeah. <laughs> so most of the, I, like I said last time in fellowship, most people when they talk about prayer, they're dealing with prayer at a point where, where you say, um, uh, I'm just saying words. Whichever God catches, that's the one. Yeah. You understand? Okay. They don't speak to God as a person. Mm. Or the same way you expect a, a person to speak to you. Okay. Like if I speak to you right now, isn't it? Mm. I know that you are real. I can see with my eyes. Yeah. And I know if I say something, mm. if you don't ignore me, you speak back. Yeah. You understand? You can actually speak back. Yeah. So I say something, then stop. Mm. Without going through my whole story. I'm waiting to hear if you're going to reply back. Yeah. So now that's the same. So most people's prayers are not real because they don't consider God as real. Mm. So when Jesus says, you see, and straight away Jesus spake unto them mm. as a group, mm. be of good cheer, be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. Mm. And Peter answered, Peter is the one who responded to that statement. Mm. Everyone, everyone else continued being afraid wow. because fear is the one that paralyzes you, mm. fear brings torment. So when you fear you're tormented, you are just in your bed in your blankets like this. Yeah. If you hear a sound and you feel like there's something, if you genuinely feel like there's something in your room, mm. you actually hear movements. Mm. Things that are happening, things falling on that, why you, mm. you are being tormented and you are paralyzed mm. in your spot. Have you ever been, uh, there's some people who actually get scared up to the point that they freeze. Mm. Let's say if a snake pops out, they freeze mm. or even faint. Yeah. Then you wonder, why can't you run? No, if fear, their fear is at is, is a, is a, a mature level. That it grabs them like this, like a chain. Mm. Then they're tormented. Yeah. Same thing with faith. Mm. Faith also grabs you mm. and disapproves of the decision of running away. Mm. So when, you, you, when something scares you, mm. with faith, mm. it disapproves when you feel like running away, when you think you should run away. Yeah. Or when you want to run away, you don't have the strength to run away. Or you, you don't feel like running away. You have been in danger that you don't feel like crying, you don't feel like uh, sobbing or just sleeping and feeling sorry for yourself. Mm. You feel like taking care of the problem. Yeah. That's faith now, understand? Mm. So Peter, he, what caused him to say this? He chose faith over fear. Mm. So you see, then Jesus said, come. He didn't say, ah, well done, you are the one who listened, everyone else is an idiot, everyone, all the others are idiots. No, no, he didn't say that. He says, come to the one who responded. Yeah. He says, if you receive Christ, you, you shall receive eternal life. Mm. If you receive Christ, you shall re- receive eternal life. Wow. Mm. It doesn't matter if Jesus announced it to the world. Mm. The ones who receive are the ones who will be raptured. Wow. The ones who set their minds on Christ are the ones who Christ will set their minds on. Mm. So the ones who connect themselves to the source are the ones who get the supply. Mm. So the ones who respond to Christ are the ones who get the response. Mm. Who get the power. So the reason some of us are not uh, getting anything in prayer or managing anything in faith is because we're not responding to what Christ said. Yeah. We're responding to whatever, you th- whatever we think. Yeah. I think God would be nice enough to take care of my, uh, my problems. Mm. God's like, speak to the problem. Amen. Mm. Demons come, like, I think God can see the demons in me. I think mm. at any mo- moment God can just appear and then the devils will run. Yeah. You know in movies, oh, you see the guy running away, scared, and going in the <laughs> corner. Just, ab- just when they're about to be eaten or destroyed, mm. some superhero pops in. 
the, the danger runs away they be like ah oh, thank you I'm a hero god doesn't god is not thinking like that so Christians are thinking God is come or the Holy Spirit is a spirit that comes into your room and fills your whole room and scares away the devils. No, 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 no. The disciple, imagine Jesus is God, but he still has to say, be of good cheer. Do not be afraid. Imagine God appears and says, Don't be afraid. <laughs> like, no, 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 I'm here, but you, you still have your part to play. Don't be afraid. That's God. And if you ignore him, you will still be afraid. But it's God who told you. What happens? It's the same reason that people, people go to hell whilst God exists. You see God and go into hell. And you know who put you there. No, well, actually you would have put yourself there. But it's, it's another story for another day. But you understand what you know the one who has the power to take you out. He said I won't take you out. But you wonder if God is there. Can't he just say that I uh, don't worry, let's start again. Come to heaven. But Why? Same reason, God says, be of good cheer, it is I. Be not afraid. And Peter answered and said, answered him and said, Lord, if be thou, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. Mm-hmm. Someone should say in their prayer, if God said, do not worry, I won't worry. Mm-hmm. If God says, you shall be well in everything, I, I shall not worry, but I shall be well in everything, because God said it. Peter said, if it's you who said this thing, mm-hmm. give me an extra instruction mm-hmm. to demonstrate that it is you. Mm-hmm. So if God says, don't be afraid, they shall not kill you. Mm-hmm. Say, God, I now go because you said they shall not kill me. Mm-hmm. That, that's your next prayer point. Don't mm-hmm. say, God, you are the king of, try to butter up God. says, you created the Grand Canyon. <laughs> you, you are the one who made the mountains look nice. <laughs> the Victoria Force survives on your strength. Or you talk about how the plants, uh, they don't die. No, no, don't try to butt up God. Uh, get, get God to say, come, then you go. Then you go. Yes. If you pray to God, like, God, I don't know what I want to do in the, in the exam. God says, don't worry, it shall be well. Mm-hmm. Stand up and, and start uh, d- uh, studying. Mm-hmm. Or go on to the next prayer point. Mm-hmm. If he says, don't worry, it shall be well, don't keep praying. Mm-hmm. Do something else. Done. You understand? Mm-hmm. If you need to keep praying, he will tell you to, you will know that you have to keep praying. Mm. But it says pray without ceasing. You understand? Mm. Like when we're praying, like I, I like what uh, the man of God said. Mm. He says, there are, some, there are certain prayers you pray once and they should be set once. Mm. Then there are some prayers you pray continuously. Mm. Not because the power is not there, mm. but they have something to do with uh, someone's uh, choice. Yeah. I can't pray to God forcing you mm. to be compliant. I have to pray God to move you mm-hmm. to, uh, to, to, for me to appeal to your reasoning yeah. so that you may be compliant. Yeah. So I pray without ceasing that the demons don't get to you. I, my prayers get to you first. Yeah. So we're in a tug of war trying to get to you. You understand? Yeah. That's, uh, so that's the understanding. You understand? yeah. So when you pray, let's say for your own things, yeah. you already have made a decision. Mm-hmm. So nothing should stand in your decision. Mm-hmm. Because God says, those who know their God shall do exploits. So if you know your God, it means you're doing exploits. You don't have to keep praying for your fees. You don't, to, you don't have to keep praying for your healing. You don't have to keep praying for things. So once you, since you're praying, you've decided. So those are the prayers you pray once. So when you just get Jesus to say, come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship. So the reason Peter left the ship is because Jesus, Jesus said, come. So now, it says, when Peter was come out of the ship, he walked on water to go to Jesus. But when he saw that, saw the wind boisterous, mm. he was afraid. Mm. And, be, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. Mm. He says, Jesus, Peter was walking on water because Jesus said, come. Yeah. Then he, for, he stopped looking at the person who said, come. And focus on other things. Yeah. So sometimes God can bless you so abundantly. Yeah. Then you forget God who blessed you. Yeah. And start oh, 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 focusing on the blessing. Let's say you get a car. You're now dealing with your car. You're putting hours in washing your car. You're playing music. You're relaxing. Yeah. And you're now going for joy rides. No more prayer. Yeah. What's going to happen to you? Yeah. You've disconnected yourself to the source. Yeah. You're saying indirectly or imp- you're implying or you're implicit with the, with the fact that you are okay. It means you're okay with what you have now. Mm. You only wanted to pray and get a car and, and that's where you end. You don't want anything else. You've disconnected yourself to the main thing. Mm. You understand? Mm. So Peter was, he did not uh, just... So when he focused on the, on the, on the boisterous sea, mm. 
he, he was afraid. After being afraid, he began to sink. And he cried saying, Lord, save me. And you understand, the Lord did not save him. And immediately Jesus stretched, out, stretched forth his hand and caught him and said to, unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? Jesus grabbed him. He said, that the power is gone. <laughs> let, me, let, let me grab the guy. So it means you can actually suffer after Jesus says, mm. it shall be well. Mm. Wow. Jesus can answer you and say, it shall be well, and you suffer. Wow. Why? Jesus says, it shall be well. You ignore it. Mm. And start, you keep asking, God help me. Yeah. He says, no, it's, it's okay. Then you say, God help me again. Mm. Then he says, no, it's fine. Then you say, God help me again. You know what will be happening? You keep sinking and sinking and sinking. Because Jesus did not listen to Peter about help me. He says, why did you doubt? He grabbed his hand and started talking about something. He said, don't ask this help thing. Why did you doubt? Meaning, if you don't doubt, you don't need God's help. So that prayer is null and void. So let's go to uh, the, the scripture which, uh, which, which kind of proves this. It's 2 Corinthians 4, verse 13. Second Corinthians four verse eighteen. Second Corinthians four verse eighteen. Uh, and I'll read. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed and therefore have I spoken. We also believe and therefore speak. We have in the same spirit of faith, according as it is written, I believed. And therefore have I spoken. Mm. We also believe and therefore speak. Mm. So you get this word I'm telling you. Mm. Believe it. Mm. After believing, start speaking and you hear the words, the words that will come out of your spirit. Mm. Believe, in, believe in God. Mm. Believe what God has said. Mm. Believe the scriptures. Yeah. Meditate. Keep telling yourself these things. Believe these things. Mm. Then start speaking yeah. according as God has, has instructed. Mm. Speak after you have believed. Don't speak before you believe. Mm. Pray, pray in tongues. Mm. Get the messages. Speak to yourself. Recite the scriptures. Mm. Meditate and understand what the context is talking about. Then when you, then you believe, mm. you decide to say, Kuzi, I believe now. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. If someone says, if I say, Kuzi, it shall be well, says, I believe it shall be well. Mm. Then you start speaking that everything shall be said because it shall be well. I shall not worry because it shall be well. I shall receive joy because it shall be well. Why are you now speaking based on things, something you've believed? Yeah. So in prayer, understand. Mm. So prayer, the principle of prayer is understanding that the reason you are waiting for Jesus, to, you're hearing what Jesus says. Yeah. Because most people think when I pray, I'm the one who started speaking. No, it's Jesus who started speaking. Mm. When you start praying, it's Jesus who started speaking. Mm. I don't know if you have... When I say Jesus started speaking, says... Uh, Jesus is the one who caused you to start praying or think about praying in the first place. Mm. That's why, um, just to convey to you this point, when, when I say when you pray, it's Jesus, uh, you, it's his idea for you to pray. Yeah. It's his, mm. it's, 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 I think it's Philippians, isn't it? Okay. Philippians 2 verse 18. Mm. Philippians 2 verse 18, and it says, For it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. So God gets you to pray. Right. Even you feel like sometimes you want to pray, but you're like, yeah, I'd rather do this. Else, yeah. But you feel like praying. God is moving you into a position of prayer, into a mode of prayer. Yeah. And also you can say something that gets you to pray. Mm. You never received a word or read a scripture, then you go into tongues like, Makio or Kobahas, say Talibrantas. Then you wonder, what? Or you receive a message like, oh, in the name of Jesus, I think. Yeah. Or you say something. Mm. Or you read the scripture says, I shall be with you mm. until the end of the age. Then you immediately, you feel some tongues coming yeah. and you speak them. Yeah, yeah he, called, he spoke first. Mm. So you're not responding. Mm. So all the time, there you are, many Christians, you actually miss out God's peace. Like, you just hear things and you just keep doing what you're doing, ignoring, you don't even respond, you don't even engage. Yeah. You, there are some thoughts which come says, have you ever noticed this? Or some studies in the Bible. Then you just ignore it. You continue with whatever you're doing. If you're playing a game, you continue playing the game. <laughs> if you're watching TV, you continue watching TV. Mm. If you're if you studying, you continue studying. Mm. 
But God is saying, he's speaking first. Mm-hmm. You're ignoring him. You're, you're one of those disciples who never walked on water, who are still in the boat, mm-hmm. continuing with the fear. Yeah. Then, and after that, you have the nerve to say, why isn't God helping me? Yeah. But remember, you're ignoring what he, gave, what he gave you for you to be helped. Mm-hmm. So he says, you know, you're saying something very important to say. You know, it's, a, it's a conversation. And you say that it's him who starts speaking. And mm-hmm. you say, uh, going further, that you then wonder why he's not helping you. Mm-hmm. Because he's ignoring, isn't it? And something very profound there is, uh, as you were saying, is that, you know, he says that, uh, Jesus said, uh, Peter asked that, if it's you, tell me to come, and I'll come, isn't it? And something that's very important, you know, in prayer is that, have you ever prayed and then you think like, the Lord is not listening, or for mm. at some point you stop talking, or uh, it seems like nothing is happening here. Mm. But it, it, it all comes to say that, what did he say? And he said that it's about the response to what he's already said. Mm. So you know, when, when you're praying like that, when he says something, respond to that, respond to what he said. And you're saying that, he, uh, you know, don't just be saying a lot of words mm. and you hope that, you know, he's going to catch something there, you know. Mm. Like as if yeah, you're spreading a net and you're like, right, I'm going to catch all the fish, you know. Yeah. But no, remember, it's a conversation. So, you know, start from that point of where he's talking to say that if he says that, okay, we're talking about uh, a certain scripture, you know, you don't, don't just listen to that scripture or just... They okay, yeah, he's talking about David, but I, I need, I need, I need my my money, or I need this thing about my course, or I need something about health right now. Mm. But he's talking about David. No, the moment you start focusing more on 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 your issues to say, okay, ah, I, I need this to be so. Then now, you begin to think. You're beginning to think now, but you see, you need to stay on. You need to go with him. Go with him. If he brings up this topic, go. Like I like what you're saying. Mm. So if he comes out about David, yeah. what's he praying for healing? Yeah. Stop the praying for the healing. Yeah. Go with the way he's going. Go with the way he's going. Because Was from it? there, perhaps that's where the instruction is going to come from. Or yeah, that's true. where the healing is going to come from. True. You see. So it, it's very it's, important. It, it, it reminds me of, um, if you're, like, uh, you're sick, yeah. if you're talking to someone, mm. then uh, after an hour or so, you find yourself jabbing there in the room. Yeah. Then you wonder, when did I become okay? Yes, exactly. But you're just talking to someone. Like you start talking, like, ah, how are you? Then before yeah. long, uh you're like ah so yeah yeah that, that's powerful that's powerful yes. so the same thing so god may be engaging trying to get engage you with the in the conversation so you can impart something the spirituality of it yes. hmm. so it's very important to to always listen to him like just follow what he's saying like hmm. literally, literally like the philippians the philippians uh, 4 13 there it says he prompts us up <laughs> if he's prompting you up like that like you're saying hmm. go with it go with it you, you'll be so surprised the things that he tells you you know, mm. even when you're, uh, you know, when you when you're in prayer, it's, remember it's a conversation, yes. so it's not limited to just saying, um, you know, about asking about your issues. Sometimes it can be literally about the word. Remember, it's also fellowshipping with with, with the Lord. So you can just be saying, okay, uh, I was reading about Solomon. What happened here? You know, you can ask him those questions, and he will reply. You know, yes, but you have to be attention. You have to. You have to. You have to. You have to listen to him. And like you were saying that, you know, he said, come. If, if Peter uh, remained on the, on the instruction, come, then he wouldn't have sunk, isn't it? Mm. If, he, if he did not ignore that. Mm. But he started now looking at the waves, started looking at everything, the distractions now. And if you now move your attention away from that, mm. if you now move your attention from what he's actually talking about, then you find that... Uh, Thing you have moved away, so he's also moved away. Why, why should he come to you now? Hmm. He it's continues to he focus on Peter, who said, on Peter, yes. Peter said, uh, yes. Say something else. Yes. Then he answered Peter, He yes. didn't talk about others, yes. he didn't go into the same one, isn't he? <laughs> you understand? He, he says, Be of good cheer, mm. he desire, be not afraid. That's the red part. Yes. Then that next part is come. Mm. Then the next part, Oh, thou of little faith. Where is thou doubt? Yes. No, nothing talking about well, he didn't address any disciples. He yes. literally ignored them. Yes. Mm. So, so it's, a, it's, a, it's an answer for those who are wondering, well, why does it seem like God is ignoring me? Yes. Because you are the one who started. Yes. Mm. <laughs> That's the answer. Yes. Yeah. yeah, because he started focusing on the one who responded. Yes. If I say joy to you all, mm. then all of you just look side, sideways. <laughs> then maybe Kudzi replies, like, so 
Yeah. Oh, now receive favor. Mm-hmm. Now be blessed. Yeah. I ignore those ones who, who, who ignore me in the room. Yeah. Same thing with Jesus. Yeah. It's the same thing. <laughs> you know, just follow follow the one who started. You know? I think we, I think we should actually write you. Know? <laughs> yeah. For but those who think who feel like God is ignoring them, you are the one who started. Yeah. <laughs> it's you who started. It's you who started. Yeah. You know, it's just like uh, I remember an example I was given was you know if if you go in a lecture right. And you know the professor is the one who's who's, who's, who's lecturing, right? Mm. And then if, 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 we, if we begin, mm. we're in the lecture, right? Mm. And then the professor is, is talking. He he's the one who knows. I mean, the professor after all. Yeah. And then I, I come to you, but then I say, ah, oh, you know, actually, what uh, how how biotechnology works is like this. But the professor is there. Mm. You know, who, who are you going to now listen? Do you now listen to to to, to, to me, or you listen to the professor? Listen to the professor. Mm. Listen to the one who. who knows if yes. you already you know if in university the, the advantage we have is that they are the ones who usually write these texts they yes. the ones who write even the, the notebooks every day yes. you know so you can literally just trust them to be like yeah because i mean he's basically the notebook you know yes. but, uh, <laughs> so when it comes to jesus now remember he's the one who created everything the wind the air the earth everything your feelings so if you want to talk to you about david you better talk to him about david yeah talk to him about david he knows what's going on you know <laughs> just focus on him stay on him the yeah. moment you focus on him you know you as long as your attention is on him like that yeah. then you know that everything is set you know you de- you know it reminds me of of, of, of of a story you know okay Okay, yeah. yeah. Let's just let's, <laughs> let's just let's just pray. Okay, no, so Pali Akus to enter so pays on the house. He says, um immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and uh, said unto him, O thou of little faith. Yeah, that's Matthew fourteen, verse thirty one. I'm continuing. Wherefore did thou doubt? Mm. This is, oh Peter, little faith. Why did you doubt? Mm. So if you, this is, what? How did the? Let's just if we're to decode or find the process mm. from whence Peter, where Peter went wrong until he sank. Mm. This is where we get it from. Mm. Um, this is, uh, and he said, "Come." And when Peter was come uh, was come down out of the ship. He walked on the water to go to Jesus. Imagine this is a prayer session in your room. You're praying like this. Mm. You ask God, say, come. Mm. God says, come. Mm. Then you begin to walk on, on the water, you understand? To go to Jesus. To go to... But when he saw the wind, mm. so but says there's something that, that changed. Mm. He saw the wind. wind. You're praying to God and you're asking other things. Mm. But the devil gave you, reminded you of your exam. Hey. The devil reminded you of your sickness. Mm. The devil reminded you of your problem. Mm. Oh, some thoughts came rushing to you, mm. they reminding you that there's an issue of school fees that you have to focus on. <laughs> yeah. you understand? Mm. There's someone who messed you up, remember? Mm. That's a, you see, but when he saw the boisterous wind, mm. he was afraid. So the things that we so in, when you're in prayer, praying, worshiping God, and you start thinking about your fears, about anything, it means you're now getting to fear. The next thing you're getting to is to fear. <laughs> yes, that that thought is the wind. That's the boisterous wind. So when you're praying and you're praying, you're praying, you're praying, then issue drops in your in your spirit. Ah, there's a financial crisis. Don't you know that in your account there's no money? The wind is is now blowing. You're looking at the wind. You start to remember it, but uh, this happened. Mm. You, the wind is blowing. <laughs> uh, your fees, the wind is blowing. Remember your marks, the wind is blowing. Mm. Something. Remember your cousin did something. Your the wind is blowing. Mm. Understand? So now, if you focus on, hey, but my fees, hey, but my fees, mm. you are now being afraid. Guess what's now happening? This is what's going to happen to you. Yeah, you are focusing on that, isn't it? Mm. He was afraid. You become afraid mm. and begin to sing after fear. Fear gets you to sink now. Yeah. Why you're now sinking in the in that the wind is is, is is now more powerful to you. The water is has become you've come back to physicality. Mm. You are you're now a, a disarmed a weakling. Yeah. yeah, you forget you're a Christian. Mm. So so what changed? It's not like uh, Peter turned into a into a stone <laughs> and the way it began. Yeah. Yeah. Peter with the same Peter. Mm. 
his mind changing, his focus changing, yeah. got him to sing. Mm. So the reason you are not getting your, the, the miracle you want, your focus is on the wrong thing. Yes. The reason you can't hear God, your focus is on the wrong thing. The reason why you are not having your way, your focus is on the wrong thing. Mm. Focus on the power, mm. the thing that gives you power. And stay on everything that comes in. I reject it in the name of Jesus. I refuse for this disturbance. I am talking to God. I am worshiping God. I refuse. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're back. Welcome back. We are back. Um, yes. So we are getting into the prayer segment of our broadcast, uh, or rather, of our prayer. So right now, what we just want to start off by doing is just thanking God for who he is, just blessing him for what he's done in your life, uh, what he's currently doing, what he's done before, just blessing him for everything that he's done for you, because there's many things that he's done for us. So right now, we just want to get into that mood of just thanking the Lord, just blessing him, thanking him for your health, thanking him for your academics, your family, um, even your, your, your ministry or uh, the gifts is given you. Just, I just want you to get into a time where just focus your mind on what he's already blessed you with. Just focus your mind on what he's done for you. Even the mere fact of him dying on the cross and granting us this grace that we can now live in. We just want to get into that time. Just, just thanking the Lord. Just blessing him for that. We can begin to pray. Sandy Cabia Bunda Calamaraki, the Zero Sharma Sandy Kerno, Cabia Cada, Limba, the Marikirno, Sevo Sharma Zanakirno, Sevo Sharma Zanakirno, Gabriela Macay, Lake Tamanda Zanakirno, Sevo Sharma Zanakirno, and the Fighting Aban, Lila Sandy Kirno, Sevo Sharma Zanakirno, 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 Lay 
Right, amen. Right, um, now just getting into our second prayer point, we want to just, uh, as it was being taught, as we were being taught in the message that, you know, we look to the word, we look to the word, we look to what Jesus says. When Jesus said, come, he says that that's when Peter was now walking on the power of that word. We walk on the power of the word, we walk on what we have heard, we walk on what uh, Jesus has commanded, what he has already said. That's what we walk on. And uh, I remember just before, uh, I was just mentioning that, you know, in, in Romans 9.17, it tells us that faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And as you are hearing that word, as you are listening to the word, brother, as you are listening to the word, you should have heard something. Heard in the sense that God dropped something to your spirit to say that whatever he dropped into your spirit, that is the hearing that you get. So when you now get that hearing, it says that, that's now the command. That's now Jesus saying to you, come. That's now Jesus now saying to you, come. And when you believe that way, when you cannot believe that instruction, when you cannot believe whatever he deposited into your spirit, he says that then what you therefore speak. If you remember in, in 2 Corinthians uh, 4, 17, uh, it was in the message to say that, you know what, uh, this, is, this is the spirit of faith that we talk about. To say that as you, as, as you get that message, you have to believe it. You have to believe it. The moment you now believe it in you, then you begin to speak it out. You have to believe it in your heart. Uh, if you remember from uh, the tears, the love that, that, that brings tears in part two, I remember you find, uh, that's what I was teaching us there, that you, know, you have to believe it in your heart. You have to believe it in your heart. The moment you believe it in your heart, when you now speak it, it becomes valid. Because sometimes if you just speak things and just uh, say everything, just, just speaking whatever you, want to, whatever you want to say, you find that you then say, but I say that I'm, 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 I'm God. You say that I have divine healing. You say that, you know, I'm more than a conqueror, but everything seems to be contrary to that. It's, it's remember, it was said, we were taught that uh, it becomes invalid because what? You have not believed in your heart. So now, when God has deposited that word in your spirit, when it's because of that word in your spirit, you have to believe it, actually. You don't just re-utter it. You have to believe it in you. You have to believe it in you. And once you now believe it, then begin to speak it. You see, a trick there will be, once you say that word, once you say that word, as you are praying or speaking in tongues, remember, you keep your mind on the word. You keep your mind on that instruction. You keep your mind on what he said. Remember, don't look at the winds, because when you're now looking at the wind, that means that you are now looking at distractions to say maybe he's talking about uh, what 
uh, something about Somo, and then you start now thinking about other things, about maybe Osaka, uh, you know, you start thinking about other problems, maybe assignment or something like that. If you begin to divert your mind like that, then it means you begin to sing. But as you now meditate, as you now speaking, as you are now praying over that instruction that the Lord has given you, over that way that He's given you, so you drop something in your spirit, you continue muttering it in tongues, keeping your mind steadfast on, on what He said. You keep your mind steadfast on that word, on that word, on that instruction that He has given. And then as you begin to, to pray like that, as you begin speaking in tongues, as you, you begin, it begins to sink into your heart now. It begins to sink into your heart, and before you know it, you now know that, yeah, I, I believe. I now believe this way. I believe in this, in this, I believe in this instruction. And once you believe in that instruction, you then speak. You then speak from that point. And then when you now speak from that point, then you know that whatever you've declared, it is bound to work out. It is bound to manifest. It is bound to what? To be a success. So that's what we now just want to get into in this in this second prayer. But we say that whatever the Lord ministered to you, whatever He spoke to you during that time of the word, begin to meditate over it. Begin to speak in terms over it. Begin to speak so that it gets into your heart, and then you begin to speak that forth. You begin to speak that forth. You begin to speak over your life or over your family or your academics, whatever it is that He was ministering to you. Because I know and I know that He definitely was speaking to you. To somebody out there. So now we just want to get into the time of prayer. Just based on off of that, uh, we can begin to pray. <laughs> Leave us and the kidneys in the Shamazan, 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 the kidne
Lord, we thank you for this opportunity, Lord, to hear your word. Thank you for giving us this opportunity, Lord, to hear your word. To also pray as well. I thank you for the mighty name of Jesus for giving us opportunity, the mighty name of Jesus, Christ, by our power, my Father, is by your spirit. And I know the Father is by your grace. I pray if you spare your bless, special blessing upon each and every single person, Father, who is watching this, who is tuning in right now in the mighty name of Jesus. If it's for those who shall watch after this in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that Father, may they learn, Father, from this your word. May they learn this principle. And I pray that, Father, they are lies, they may their spiritual, may their prayer lives be moved even into another level in the mighty name of Jesus, where they know they are talking to you, where they know in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, they can see the results of Father in the mighty name of Jesus of their prayers. I think in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, for this wonderful time, in the mighty name of Jesus, that I pray. Amen. 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 Right. Thank you, thank you everyone for uh, joining us, for tuning in into this hour of prayer. Um, I pray and hope that you've been blessed. And remember that uh, even as you continue in your prayer life, in your spiritual walk, you can continue practicing these principles. Practice these principles for yourself. And you know, you begin to grow. You begin to grow in your prayer life, in, in everything that you do. Uh, you begin to grow. Um, uh, we'll see you again, I think, on Thursday. We have our message on Thursday, and then on Saturday, we have our physical meeting with a message as well, uh, with an online message as well. It might be or might not be, but uh, we definitely have our meeting on Saturday, on Saturday, uh, starting at half five. And on Thursday, we are live again, starting at seven with the word. And so thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining in and continue spreading the word. Continue uh, watching these 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 clips you can see that you can learn a lot from them and practice these principles the best thing you can do is to practice these principles because christianity is not uh something that we is, is abstract like you know it's that thing that you just do privately but christianity is actually your life you know it's it's got to be your your lifestyle in the sense of that's how you live you know you wake up you shower uh you eat you know that's that's the way you live you know, as, as a person, but as a Christian, how, how, how ought you to live? You see, this the, the way it shouldn't just be something that just stays in the papers, but let this way be your, your life, let it be your reality. You see, if somebody was to jot down just maybe a day of your life, can would it be enough to inspire somebody else to be like, you know what, I think I can try this Christianity, I think I can, uh, I should look into this life. But otherwise, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, stay connected, stay protected. Uh, we believe in good news because we believe in God. Uh, we're not out of uh, good news, we're just out of time. Uh, so see you next time.